Hey there, good afternoon Pisces and welcome to your second December 2020 tarot reading. Welcome to Tree of Life Tarot. My name is Carrie. I'm excited to be here. Pisces, let's see what's going on. We're going to check in with you in the month of December. Today is, we're well into December now. Today is December 12th, it's Saturday afternoon. Time on my end is 2.03 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. <clears throat> So whether your sun sign is Pisces or your moon or rising sign is Pisces, some of you may be checking up on a Pisces. Others of you may just be intuitively guided to be here, right? You just saw the reading and maybe you saw a word or an emoji or maybe you just had a feeling to click on this. Trust those energies. If you're here, you're here for a reason. Uh, so we're going to have a fantastic tarot reading for you today, Pisces. Uh, I'm also going to provide you, I just want to outline uh, your astrological forecast for the month of December. Uh, so Pisces, I've already done a December tarot reading for you and it's available in my playlist. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that yet, I encourage you to watch that tarot reading. We may be picking up on the same Pisces energies today, We're just continuing the story and the energies, or we may be picking up on entirely new Pisces energies. Uh, but we're going to have a fantastic reading for you. So I'm going to provide you your astrological forecast for December. Now keep in mind, I'm not an astrologer, and I don't claim to be. However, I am somebody who's fascinated with the stars, fascinated with understanding astrology. So what I'm going to share with you, it's just information I've been able to pick up and to gather from others. So I'm just sharing it with you here in this tarot reading. But I don't, at the end of the day, I, don't, I never claim to be an astrologer. Okay, I like to learn from the, the astrologers, right? The ones who have really put in the time and the dedication to truly understand the stars. Okay, Pisces. So the month of December, it's a it's a fantastic month. You know, all kinds of things happening this month. There's a big event taking place just about a week from now. Uh, on December 21st, we're going to be stepping into a brand new era, a brand new energy overall as a civilization. And the way that what's causing that to happen is you have the planets of Saturn and Jupiter coming together and conjuncting and they're coming together and conjuncting at zero degrees and they're moving into the sign of Aquarius. That's historical for the world because for the last 200 years these two planets have been in Earth energy so they're coming out of Capricorn energy right now. So since 1802 the, the world has been in an, in an Earth energy and so since 1802 what, what did that create and bring us? It brought us the Industrial Revolution, it brought us materialism, consumerism, ownership right mine more and more and more so which is all fantastic right because it important energies to take place in order for society to progress but now it's time to step back and look you know, with this Aquarian energy and we're going to look at what we've created and we're stepping into more of an energy of collaboration of working together right of being more compassionate to the needs of others uh, where it's not so much about ownership this is mine not yours is it's hopefully going to be more of an energy of caring and sharing so i like to think that this is all very positive for us so pisces let's get started with your reading here uh, in your december on the 14th you have a solar eclipse taking place in your 10th house on the 16th of december the planet venus the planet of attraction and love also joins the party and it moves into your 10th house. So the 10th house is about your work, your career. So what are these energies gonna cause for you, Pisces? So these energies, for many of you, are gonna cause you to focus on your work and your career. So some of you may be seeking a new job, you know, seeking a new career. Maybe you're at a place in life where you're thinking, you know, I just, I'm not passionate about what I do, right? I feel like, I have, I have more purpose, I have more meaning in my life. So maybe you're thinking about maybe shifting your energies into a job or a career that allows you to feel more connected, to experience more a more fulfilling and exciting life. Uh, Pisces, what is it that you love to do in life? Uh, is it possible to create an income for yourself from some of these, these things? So Pisces, you're a water sign. So you're filled with all kinds of inspiration, intuition of the zodiac signs. You may be the most intuitive. Uh, but your ability to be able to connect yourself, right, with some of these creative ideas that you may have. And maybe you're thinking about taking this creative idea and putting it together. And I want to create a business. You know, I want to create it, maybe a secondary income for myself. 
So the month of December, beautiful time for many of you to experience this. Uh, new possibilities and new opportunities await you. Think about the things that you love to do, Pisces. Uh, and if you're already in a job and you're not considering cha you know, changing a job, maybe you're thinking about just maybe adding, making some kind of changes to your current job where you can experience a little more joy, a little bit more happiness, kind of change things up. Okay, Pisces, on the 18th of December, we have the planet of Saturn. We were just talking about this coming in and it moves into your 12th house. So it's moving into your house. Uh, on the 20th, the planet Jupiter moves into your 12th house. And on the 21st of December, both those planets come together and conjunct at zero degrees in the sign of Aquarius for you, Pisces, taking place in your 12th house. So your house, your energy, the 12th house is about sub the subconscious, right? This is, this is where we go in. Maybe we seek some quiet time, some solitude, and we go inward and we think deep. Um, this energy is about balancing your internal world with your outer world. This is a great time to focus your energy on spirituality and to meditate, to do yoga, go for a walk, maybe stretch, maybe learn a little bit more about healing. Some of you may also be focused on health and how to heal your body naturally. This is a time to focus on the metaphysical for many of you. By metaphysical, we mean astrology, tarot, numerology, studying energy, maybe studying healing, studying crystals. Um, on the 22nd of December, the sun comes to join Pluto in your 11th house. So your 11th house is, is your house of, of communication, but it's, it's external communication. So it's representing you know, your, your circle of influence, your circle of friends, maybe outside of your immediate family and close friends. Uh, this is a time to reach out and connect with others. A beautiful time to seek groups or organizations of like-minded individuals uh, that you could join, right? And you're just coming out of 12th house energy. So when you're in that 12th house, maybe you're thinking about just what can I do in life, right? To bring my life more meaning, more purpose. Uh, so some of you may be communicating and joining groups and organizations of other like-minded individuals, right? In order to connect yourself with those energies. Uh, some of you may be creating your own organization, your own club, your own group. Pisces, on the 30th of December, we have a full moon taking place in your fifth house. Fifth house of children, right? Of lighter energy, the fifth house of having fun. So by the end of December, a lot of you are going to be feeling this energy, this lighter energy. It's just very playful, wanting to have fun. Okay, Pisces, there's your astrological forecast for the month of of December. Let's get into your tarot reading now. And the tarot reading is going to give us a chance to see a little more specifically how some of these energies are going to manifest for you in the month of December. Okay, let's get started. So I want to begin by pulling an affirmation card for you. We want to see which affirmation your guides feel would be best suited for you to hear taking us into your December tarot reading today. Okay, fantastic. So Pisces, the affirmation taking us into your tarot reading for December comes to us as health, mid to late December, comes to us as health. The number 30, which reduces back to a three. Uh, you know, three represents, you know, third house energy, house of, of communications, house of mental thinking, mental energy. Mother Earth, sweet, Mother Earth bright, bring to me your health and might. Mother Earth sweet, Mother Earth bright, bring to me your health and might. Mother Earth sweet, Mother Earth bright, bring to me your health and might. Okay, it's almost, it's kind of poetic, you know, those words on that affirmation card. So I like to read it out loud three times. So you really get a chance to hear the words, right? To let the, you know, to let the energies of this affirmation of good health really sink in. So in the month of December, some of you are going to be mindful, you know, thinking about your health. This could be your physical health. It could be your, your mental health, emotional health, your spiritual spiritual health. I'm having a hard time talking here. So Pisces, let's pull a few tarot energies for you now. I'm going to pull these energies from my Good Tarot tarot set, which is a newer tarot set for me to be using. So I may refer to the guidebook on some of these energies. Maybe not. But Pisces. Let's see what's going on in your world in December.
Okay, interesting. So the first energy that comes to us comes to us as the Four of Earth. Right. Look at the image on this card. It's beautiful. So Four of Earth represents the energy of, of the Four of Pentacles. Let's pull another energy for you. you know, four of Pentacles can represent the energy of, you know, maybe I'm hanging on to something too tightly in life. Maybe, you know, there could be something in my life that I'm, I'm just not, not willing to let go of. Uh, it could be something I'm not willing to let go of that could be impacting and affecting the health for some of you. Let's pull another energy. Okay, so beautiful. Next energy coming in for you, Pisces, comes to us as the Seven of Fire. So this is equivalent to the Seven of Wands. Notice this unicorn, right? He's reached the top of the mountain. So he's reached his pinnacle. He's on his hind legs. It's like he's, like he's celebrating. Notice the stars and the planets that are around him. So it's, it's a beautiful energy. It's, it's you know, representing the energy of feeling victorious, right? Feeling, feeling triumphant. It could be feeling victorious and triumphant in your health. Okay, Pisces, let's put one more energy for you and then let's take a minute and read a little bit about these energies. Okay, Pisces, here's more fire coming out for you. So the next energy coming in comes to us as the King of Fire. So this represents King of Wands energy. So being fire energy, it could be a, an, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius in your life. Um, you know, I'm just looking at the image on this card. You know, he's aged. So, you know, he has... He has, this is somebody who has a lot, of, a lot of wisdom, somebody who has a lot of life experience. So this, this could represent an energy within you, right? This could, I feel like for many of you, this is maybe representing the energy of somebody else in your life, right? This could be a fatherly figure, could be a, could be a brother, it could be a sibling, it could be a grandfather. At the end of the day, it doesn't have to be male at all. Okay, Pisces, let's take just a minute and read a little bit about these energies so that we can get a better understanding of what's taking place for you. Let's ask about this Four of Earth, and then we're going to get some clarification as well. Okay, so the Four of Earth, here's what it has to say for us. Ownership, the beauty of divine order, trusting in a solid foundation. Even if I feel shaken up and am unable to understand why things happen as they do. I know for certain that divine order manifests in all aspects of my life. What I have built rests on a solid foundation, so there is no need to fear. While it is true that nothing is permanent in the material world, I feel security in the, ex the existence of a divine plan. Spirit is always there to remind me that I am exactly where I am meant to be for my highest good and the highest good of all, and that I always have abundance available to me. Okay, so it's showing up as is a is a pretty beautiful energy coming in for you, Pisces. Um, you know, because what it is we're we're looking at here with this energy is this this is about recognizing you know the the foundation that, that you've already created. Um, it's it's about looking back at, at your life experience. You know, and throughout your life experience, you had great experiences and you had some difficult and some trying experiences. And those trying experiences. They brought you growth, right? That maybe they, for many they may have brought you more balance, um, you know. But, but feeling this is a, this is an energy representing, you know, feeling feeling comfortable in your skin, not allowing yourself to really take on the energies of fear. Uh, why? Because you're prepared, you know. You're prepared. You're you're very seasoned, very experienced. Let's ask about this seven of fire now. It says, personal best, going the distance, perseverance, nonconformity. I'm unstoppable. My passion pushes obstacles aside as I engage in sustained effort. I know how to bend, but I don't compromise on what's most important to me. If others aren't happy with the course I am on, I don't have to let their concerns affect me. I release the temptation to resist challenges, and I trust that I can make things happen, make things happen as I live a life on my own terms, inspired solutions presenting themselves. Okay, so again, this is a beautiful energy. So 
in this energy, we're talking about you know, recognizing your life experience, recognizing your talents, rec recognizing your gifts. Uh, here in this energy, we see you putting those to work, you know, taking you towards the energy of, of victory and of triumph, of arriving at your pinnacle. This is also about trusting yourself, right? Not allowing yourself to get discouraged by others, right? Others that maybe look at your path and they have other ideas for you, right? If you're, if you're following your own feeling, you know, trust those energies, trust yourself. Okay, let's ask about this King of Fire now. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I was making sure that I read all of the Seven of Fire completely. So yes, we have read all of that energy now. So let's read about the King of Fire. Okay, and again, I feel like this is maybe somebody who's helping you out in your life. For many, this could be a mentor, somebody that you really look up to a lot. This is somebody who's very who's very experienced in life. It's also somebody who has a big heart, right? As this figure is holding the heart in, it, in, in his hands. Could be holding your heart. So reading more about this King of Fire, spiritual influencer, creative inspired leadership. When I am aligned with spirit, I am a powerful leader who inspires others. My mastery benefits others as I teach them, directly at times and indirectly at others, modeling what they might aspire to. How can I be confident in my own abilities and vision without being rigid or closed off to new ideas? Right? So. This energy, for many of you, I feel like it's showing up as somebody in your life, you know, and I don't know why I'm thinking of, you know, that, that kind of mentoring type energy, but but I do, I, you know, for many, this, this could represent somebody who's, who's very spiritual, you know, connected to you, that can look at you and see you on your spiritual path, and maybe they're showing up, right, to help you and guide you along your way. Pisces, let's get some, let's get some uh, clarification here. Let's first of all ask about this Four of Earth. Tell us about the Four of Earth for Pisces, please. Okay, tell us more for Pisces on this Four of Earth, please. So we have a few energies here help, helping us to clarify this four of earth energy. So four of earth, it's representing the energy of being able to step back and, and to feel comfortable in my own skin, you know, to, 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 to be able to recognize, you know, yes, I have fear, right? It's not just about me letting go of the fear completely. I can, I can actually, I can use fear. To my advantage i can i can use fear to kind of help motivate me at times at the end of the day what i want to be able to feel is feel comfortable in my own skin to recognize my value to recognize my worth so at the end of the day what the universe is telling you pisces is this is your truth right this is your truth coming to us as the king of swords energy air energy so aquarius gemini or Aquarius, Gemini, wow, Ma Libra, wow, major brain crap there. What's interesting is here we have the Empress energy you know, right next to it. So by way of zodiac and energy, it can represent the energy of Libra. It can also represent the energy of Taurus. But what this energy is pointing out is this is feeling my value, right? Feeling comfortable in my skin, recognizing my worth, and I'm making this my truth, right? My truth is I am valuable. I'm talented enough. I'm loved enough. I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. Okay, Pisces, the next energies that we have coming to you come to us as the Ace of Wands, right? So here's, here's a beautiful, fantastic, fast-moving, very creative, very passionate beginning. So here's the potential. This is what I'm wanting to, to achieve, what I'm wanting to create in my life. I want to step in this into this beginning passionately. 
I'm stepping into it with a very balanced energy, representing the energy of Aquarius, the star card. So you may have an Aquarius in your life or be connected to an Aquarius. But this is this is a beautiful energy. Is a, she's very balanced, right? I feel like she's balanced because she's been able to gain her balance through this energy. So I'm able to connect myself with this balance. I'm not taking any chances. I'm standing underneath eight stars for good fortune, good luck. I'm passionate about this beginning. I want to make it happen. Okay, Pisces. Let's pull another clarifier. Tell us more about the four of earth, please. Okay, all right. So, we have this Ace of Wands right here, which is representing a beginning. You know, clarifying this. Now we get the Seven of Cups, right? So, Seven of Cups is, hey, I have a lot of choices. I have a lot of choices. I have a lot of directions that I can go. Um, you know, why do I have a lot of choices, right? Because I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feel, feeling very balanced in my energy. I'm at a place where I, I recognize what I'm good at, right? I, I'm aware of the things that I'm not so good at. So I'm focusing on my strengths. Uh, and I, I'm opening up the door to a lot of choices, a lot of options. These choices and these options are connected to this beginning for you, Pisces. Okay, let's ask about the Seven of Fire now. Tell us about the Seven of Fire for Pisces, please. Okay, so we have two energies. Let me pull a couple more. Tell us about Seven of Fire for Pisces, please. All right, that was too many energies there. Sorry, Pisces. We had a little energetic spillage there. Tell us more about Seven of Fire for Pisces, please. Okay, fantastic. So Pisces, here's where we're getting, this is the energy that we're asking about, Seven of Fire. So it's representing the energy of arriving at your pinnacle, right? Feeling victorious. Feeling victorious because I've trusted myself, I've trusted others, I've trusted the universe, I've connected with my own talents, my own abilities. So. Clarify this energy, right? What is it bringing me? So here we have the Nine of Wands, right? So I'm looking at the long term. I'm, I'm taking preparations right now because I want to achieve victory and triumph, right? I want to experience this energy. Don't want to take any chances. So in the process of not taking any chances, I'm taking steps right now, energetically, to prepare a smoother transition, right? To prepare some longevity right, to the future. The energy that's connected to this comes to us as the lover's card. Fantastic. Represents the energy of Gemini. You know, so for many of you, right, this is about a connection in your life. You know, a love connection. Like-minded individuals. This may be somebody that you're already in a relationship with. So, fantastic for you, Pisces. The next energies that are coming to us. Again, we're asking about victory and triumph. So how is it I create this victory and this triumph? Well, I've taken this Five of Swords energy, right, which is connected to my past, past letdowns, past disappointments, past breakups, past energies that didn't didn't fare well for me. You know, maybe I felt like I was stabbed in the back. You know, but taking on that kind of energy, I've recognized this energy, right? But I have freed up my mind, right? Maybe this is about my mental health. I'm serving myself with my mental health right now. Showing up, coming up as the Four of Swords. So, you know, the universe encouraging you, right? Take a, taking a mental break. I've taken, taken time to rest and to recuperate from the past. Letting go of the pain, right? How does this happen? We don't just snap our fingers and make it happen. I mean, it's maybe sometimes, right? But 
this is usually work, right? And usually with work, it, it's requiring forgiveness, you know, because when we're able to truly forgive others or forgive the past, heavy circumstances, we free ourselves from all those heavy energies and emotions and feelings, right, that, are, that we have connected to part of our past. Because if I'm stuck in those energies, I'm gonna have a real difficult time taking my energy to be able to experience victory and triumph. Okay, Pisces, the next energy that comes to us, comes to us as the Ten of Pentacles, right? So here's, this is the pinnacle, all right? This is the top. Uh, this is reaching the mountain. When I reach the top, it, it gives me a chance to feel abundance, right? This could be, this could be a new job opportunity, a, you know, a new career, right? Maybe it's going to bring you more financial abundance. Uh, but abundance can come in many ways and, and forms. That we can be abundant in our friendships in our life, abundant in our relationships. We can experience a, an abundance of generosity. We can give an abundance of generosity. We can be very charitable. Right? And in the process of doing that, right, it makes me feel abundant. So here's the potential for you, Pisces. All right, let's ask about this King of Fire now. This King of Wands energy. Tell us about this King of Fire. Tell us more about this King of Fire. Okay, so Pisces, just looking at the energies that are coming out right now, you know, I have to say, for some of you, this king of fire, right, very well could be your husband, could be your spouse, uh, friend. Um, this could be somebody who's very, who's very interested in you. And the, the direction I'm going with this is, you know, whatever this relationship is about, this could be, this could be a lover, this could be romantic love, you know. And I say that because. Here we have the Lover's card, the energy of Gemini coming out earlier here in your tarot reading. And then I'm looking at the energies that are coming out so far. So it's kind of what it's showing us here. All right, Pisces. So fantastic. Here's where we're getting our clarification. King of Fire energy. Here's what's coming to us. So we're asking about this King of Fire. Who is this energy? What role are they playing in your life, Pisces. It's kind of interesting. So here we have the Page of Cups. It's a beautiful energy. So, you know, this is representing communication, right? The energy that's attached to this is the Three of Wands. So attached to this King of Fire is, is I'm looking at the journey that, that lies ahead of me. Uh, and here I have this communication coming in, right? This is a preparatory energy that usually precedes the Ace of Cups, which is kind of fantastic because here we have that energy right here that came out. Right. So this communication connected to this journey, looking at the journey that lies ahead, and I want to see exactly what the energies look like for me. Uh, here I have communication coming in, right? Communication of love, all attached to this King of Fire. So the other energies that come up for me are right here. So where is it taking me towards? Ace of Cups. Take me towards this, this beginning that I absolutely love. And for, for many, this may be a, the beginning of a relationship with this fire energy. Uh, but it's, it's, this is the beginning of love, right? Pretty fantastic. Again, Pisces, we're looking at potential here, right? Choice has not been made yet choice has not been made yet we know that because here's the two of swords right so now it's up to me it's up to me to be able to, to make a choice right to make a decision do I want to choose to let go of the past do I want to choose to believe in myself do I want to choose to recognize my value recognize my worth do I want to choose to trust trust myself trust the universe trust others I'm wearing blindfold over my eyes. So, hey, this may be about taking a leap of faith. There are no guarantees in life, right? It's about taking a chance. But on a very positive note, right? What is this taking a chance all about? It brings me Six of Wands victory. Six of Wands energy, right? Which represents the energy of victory and of triumph, right? So when I'm making this choice and I'm able to choose wisely, it takes me towards 
experiencing a victory and a triumph in my life. This victory and this triumph, for many, this could be this relationship, this connection coming through for you with this kind of beginning. It's fantastic for you, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, I think I'm done with your December, your second December 2020 tarot reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that the energies that we picked up on for Pisces today, that they resonate with you. Hope that you're able to connect with these energies and, and be open to hearing the messages so that at the end of the day, Pisces, the messages here and the energies here, they help you to be able to experience more joy and happiness and more love and abundance in your life. So we're looking at a lot of love here. This is a beautiful connection for you, Pisces. So wishing you all the very best. Thank you so much for the love and the support. It's holiday time, so if any of you are interested in a personal tarot reading, I'd love to provide one for you. You can send me an email to my new email address at treeoflifetarot, the number nine, at gmail.com. I've started doing live readings on Zoom, which gives us a chance to look at each other. I really enjoy that. It gives me a chance to connect stronger with you, understand you and more of your story better. I can ask you questions, you can ask me questions. Because it's all live, so that so that, you know the readings have actually been going beautiful. So if that's of any interest to any of you, I encourage you to reach out, connect with me, and let's set up an appointment for you. Uh, thank you for the beautiful donations and the contributions many of you make towards the channel. Without you, I wouldn't, I probably couldn't be here and have this channel. So thank you so much. And and we're this is a beautiful time of year where I'm extra grateful, you know, with the holidays here for any donations or contributions or those of you that are requesting personal tarot readings. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for helping Christmas on this end to be a little a little brighter and a little bit better. Okay guys, Pisces, wow you have an exciting December look forward to. I'm excited for you guys. Wishing you all the very best. Thanks for tuning in Pisces.